Hey folks, it's Frithgar here, how you doing? Welcome to Broadacres Farm, the 16 times Australian map that we are just going to have um, more than a little bit of fun with, I suspect. And I say that because we could very well be here for a while. Before we go much further, just take a look at this map. Okay, so there, there is the map. Now some of you will have seen my introductory video that I did of this map, and you, you sort of see it there. Now, I want to give you an idea of just how big it is, and for a start, how long it takes to load in that screen. And that is standard on a 16 times map. It takes that long because there's so much information there to process. So we're going to be playing an unrealistic series here on this map, as many of you know. And we are going to do our absolute best to do as many different things as we possibly can. Now, pigs is going to be one of the first things that we do, but we do have a few other things that we want to do first. So we're just going to kind of get a couple of little bits up and running, and we're going to take a little look around and sort of see what we've got here on this map. So to start with, we're going to take a look at the machinery. Now, when you download and install this map, you will get a, a package to go with it. There is a, It's the toll package that you install alongside the standard stuff. You get the you get the download. Now I've given you a link to Mod Hoster, and so you can get the download link from there. It's hosted by Mod Hoster. I've also provided links to the Facebook group and to GitHub where you go for um, any issues that might be arising. And with the when you've downloaded it, you need to unzip it. You can put the map directly into your mods folder, and you can put there's a, an animal trailer, a stock trailer that you can put into your mods folder as well. Um, I'm not sure if I've got that one on here or not, to be honest. Let me just take a look. Um, but then you've also got a toll package. You need to unzip the toll package as well. And there's a whole load of toll mods in there. Plus, there is the Flegel auto load trailer for um, it's the, uh, the, the articulated auto load trailer. I think it's in here somewhere. Um, I'll show it to you in a minute. Right, I think, you know, it's not the art mechanic one. That's not the one that uh, we gained as extra. Okay, so it doesn't look like I've actually added in the mods that I needed to, which was the um, animal trailer. I'm sure it'll be somewhere in my mods folder. I'll have to go and hunt for it. But anyway, there, there are a few of them, and one of them is the Flegel Autoload. Now, you may already have that one installed in your folder already, which would be uh, that one there, the Transport Runner UAL. And so, yeah, that's the one that's going to be overwritten with the toll mod. So you don't need to worry about it. It's the up, it's the most up-to-date version anyway. But the toll ones, you put those on. So we've got a couple of trains here, and I've got the um, the frame rate up. Apparently, up here around the town, you can get some frame rate issues at times. Um, but so far, it seems to be pretty reasonable for me. Uh, we are dropping to four, you know, mid mid to upper forties as we sort of. Sp uh, pan round in different places, uh, but generally it's okay. So we've got the Lizard Parallel Core over here with a standard Timber Runner hitched on to the back. Well, it's not quite hitched on. We've got the Ponzi Scorpion here, and then we have a Valtra S-Series. We've got a New Holland CR1090. This is uh, near the farm, actually. Where are we now? Uh, oh, we're down, we're down near the bottom. So we've got Field 1 just to the south of us from this point. And then we've got, in the middle, we've got a Valtra S-Series. We are right over on the left-hand side of the map, is it? Yep, right over on the left-hand side of the map near Field 17. We've got a Valtra S-Series. Uh, we're back in town with a New Holland CR1090. Another one of those in the middle of the map. And another one on the left-hand side of the map. Then you've got the Lizard Barrel Core again. This one's got a stock trailer on the back. Um, ready to load up from the animal dealership that's in town you've got one of the toll trailers with a tanker that can, well it can be hitched on it's not actually hitched on so let's hitch that one on a minute so you've got a tanker on there you've got another one that can go on behind that uh, there we go so we've got a, a little road train going on there we've got another Kenworth toll green now this one's got um, two toll trucks on the back two toll um, trailers on the back. I don't know what the capacity of those are, but we'll find out later on. And then you've got another Kenworth with a toll trailer on the back. Now, these toll trailers, oops, uh, just like that, I think. Let's start this one up. Is that going to pull the whole lot? Yes, it does. It does it all in one go. So, yeah, these toll trailers, these can take most of the items that are supplied in various different places around the map. You can use these to load up all of the different um, 
items you bring in you make jams you can make beer you can make all kinds of different stuff so that's what these toll trailers are generally used for so we'll just stop that one a minute and we're back to the train so that's kind of what you start off with that's what you start with on the map and you've got all of these different vehicles throughout so we've got some over here we've got one field down there that doesn't have anything planted we've got field 17 over there that is planted with wheat and so we've got fruit types here we've got carrot millet rye oat triticale cotton and onion um and then you've got your standards on the map and sugarcane obviously that's from the 1.5 update that will be coming out fairly soon uh then we've got the growth stages so we've got a field of wheat here in uh, right, so the field of wheat is ready to harvest, and we've got more fields here that are ready to harvest. Uh, the field one down the bottom, that is ready to cultivate. So if we go back to the fruit types a minute onto here, we can. it does take it a little while to load up each time. Now, that's something that some people may find a little bit frustrating, but I think we probably live with that. So we've got field 17 is wheat, field 22 there, and then we've got some barley, and we've got some canola ready to go as well. So we'll just go and take a look at those fields a moment, if we can um where's the nearest point to the fields i don't want to be down there i don't want to be in the middle i don't want to be on the left hand side i've got the new hollands no i want to i want to go to one of the tractors that would be the better ones of ultra s series well that's too low that's um yeah we, we don't have an F s series up in the top top part of the map okay we'll do this a different way we'll go Let's go to the Ponzi Scorpion King and we'll enter this one and we'll just run out from here. Now, you can see on the small map, there's only a very short distance to run over to the field. And you can see how far it is to actually run. This is the thing with the 16 times map. It's going to take us a long time to get anywhere. So I think we're going to speed this up a little bit. Oh, we've got AR Trucks Trailers. What are these? Oh, that's just a, one of the Tatra mods that I hadn't previously put in. I've got the custom... Um, road train pack in here so we'll be able to use that one as well uh so i want to go into cars i've put a whole load of mods into here and i don't know what they're going to ultimately be like but i'm hoping that they'll be pretty good let's go for a nice shiny red one and we'll go rim color can be let's go for black rims and we'll go black as well on the design and we'll go single gt stripes we've got red and black i wonder how this is going to work out you don't have enough Ooh, problem right before we do anything else, we need to get a bit of cash. So if we go over to here, um, no, I don't want that one. I want here. So if we press Alt, Control, and then the horn, that adds a million dollars into the map. Now, we did say that we were going to start with lots of money. I don't know. I can't just press and hold and have it spam up through. I did originally say I was going to start with a billion dollars on this map. And I still think that a billion dollars would be a good idea. But I think we'll start off with $500 million. So I'm just going to add $500 million into the map. And we will go from there. What we're going to do is we're going to say that Daddy has gotten fed up with us um, messing around in Texas. And we're not making any money. We haven't struck oil or anything. So he shipped us off to Australia to an old family friend. And he's giving us $500 million to start out with. But he's told us that we can have a billion, no more than that. Because he doesn't want to waste money on this. But he wants to see if we can actually earn a little bit back. Right, I press that button 502 times. We now have $502 million. That ought to keep us going just for a little bit. So let's go back to our car. We want to buy the Lizard Road Rage. We want a nice shiny red. And the rims and the design are going to be in black. And we're going to go for a single GT stripe. So let's buy that one for $90,000. And let's go and get our new car. Where is it? I'll go through all of this stuff. And there we go. Actually, that looks pretty snazzy. I like this car. And if you remember, this is my souped up variant of the car. So it's, um, it goes a little bit faster than normal. 322 kilometers an hour, or for those of you who are working in miles, it is 200 miles an hour. So let's come out onto here. And the problem with this car is it is so powerful that it, um, it kicks around the corners. Oh, a little bit of collision on there. This car... This car will show up any slight issues with collisions over um, railway crossings, anything like that. It's something of this car is very, very low to the ground. We're also, the speed that we're about to be driving through town is going to show up any issues with frame rates as well. I just had a dip to 30 frames a second there for a moment. Um, but I think overall, if our car here can get through this map without causing too much problems, 
I would say that speaks fairly highly for the map. Now, I've got to try and keep this thing straight. 300 kilometers an hour, so 200 miles. Let's bring that round there. So we do have collision on all of the fences. That field has been spread with manure. Let's see. Oh, we're just going to load up the map a minute. I'm going to go through fruit types, growth, soil composition. That's the one that we want. So now we'll let it load. There's one job that we're going to put going on this field. So uh, there's only one field needs plowing, and that's that one down there. None of these are fertilized, and none of them actually need plowing. So if I do that, see, it does take a while to update anything whenever you put the, the, um, the command in. So that is something that could get irritating, but it's not reflective of this map. I would just like to make certain, absolutely certain, that everybody understands that it's not a reflection of this map. That is just something that happens with 16 times maps. There is nothing that can be done about it. There is no way that it can be altered. That is just how those maps work. Right, I think if I just go up to here and I, um, I mouse click, I think that's how it opens. I think it does. Or does it? Mouse click. Uh, let's try pressing E. If I go up to the gate, would that do it? Oh, there we go. Now it's working. So you can't do it from inside the vehicle by the look of it. And it doesn't like our vehicle. Now we can get going. So I want to buy the biggest field in on the map to start with. And that is either going to be 14 or 13, and they're both right next to each other, or it's field 9 down the bottom. So we're going to scoot on down south. Well, field 18 is actually pretty big. Let's just take a quick look. Oh, that's we're, we're, there's no way we're getting across there. But field 18 is right there. I think that's actually the buy point. So let's just jump. And go over here. So you can see, we, we literally, you look at the mini-map down there. We're hardly having to go any distance at all. And the actual distance you're having to move in order to get there is quite substantial. Field number 18 is $40 million, 503 hectares. So that's that one there. So let's go back over to here and I'll get into my vehicle like that. It's just, a, it's just easier. Right, we're going to head south and we want to get to the middle of field 19 i think now version 2 of this map is currently being worked on and australia in this part in this part of australia where this map is based it's very this is very realistic it's flat like this however the ben is currently adding in some undulations to the ground just very very slight just a tiny tiny little bit because of um popular request so there will be some slight changes, but it's still going to be pretty much dead flat with version 2. This one is 281 hectares. So this is this is just a tiny field. It's a hobby farm, really. Uh, field 19 there. So we want to head on south further, and we want to go through the central storage area. And I've actually just come from that way, so I want to spin around here. We go through the central storage area and we'll um, sort of go on past that, head on further south and we want to get to 14 and 13. Compare those with field 9 down the bottom. I think that field 14 and 13 are the two biggest and then field 9 is a fraction behind but I'm not quite sure. So let's um, try and slide this car on now. I love this car. This car is brilliant. Bring that one easy, easy, easy. We've we got we to gotta go steady with this one. You, you do have to sort of work it carefully. You've got various storage areas in there there's some for carrots and i'm not sure what they all are but i think it's like the um uh root crop storage and stuff in where those elevators were and uh, look <laughs> this car is fantastic it's very it, it does tend to slide though you do you do have to be very very careful of the fact that it's sliding all over the place and it does not want to stick in any one particular spot uh, let's just make this... Oh, we want to go on a little bit further. It's actually on our right-hand side that the two fields are that we want. And we can compare the prices of these. Because what we do, what the plan is today is we're going to buy the biggest field on the map. That's the first thing that we need to do is we need to buy the biggest field on the map. And we need to put a job going in here. Now, the, the most popular request seems to be getting a big bud tractor with the smallest plow in the game. 735.03 hectares for that one. Now, I don't know if the Big Bud will... I don't know if any tractor works very well with the very smallest plow. Because it's so small, the size of the map, it sort of... It, you turn around and it says that it's already done the bit you're on. So we may have to go for a slightly bigger plow. 732. What was this one over here? This one was 703. So that... The lower one is actually a bigger field. Uh, 735. So that one's a bigger field. Uh, it was 732, wasn't it? 
I'm really hopeless with um, numbers. I literally, I will forget everything straight away. Right, so it's 732 versus 735. So we know that field 13 is bigger. Um, we just want to go to field 9 now. So let's take the car and we'll drive down there so that we can take a look around. And let's go. Head on down this way and then we can compare. If this one is bigger than 735 hectares, this is the one that we buy. If it's not bigger, then obviously we we'll go back up and we get the um, the other one. And we, there is a way to get across a track. With this vehicle, I mean, with a bigger vehicle, you'll be able to get across a track without any problem. It's just this vehicle, because it's so low to the ground, it will catch on anything. 610. Well, that's just, yeah, another hobby farm. It's, um, that's, that's tiny. It's, um, it's not, it's barely even worth bothering with. Right, so we have now established that the absolute biggest field on this map is field 13, which is the one that we are going to go and get first. Was it field 13? Yeah, 735 hectares. The other one was 732. So the other one's close. 735 takes it. Those, it's the two hectare, three hectares rather. The three hectares, are, they're the ones that take it. So we'll whiz back up here. And what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to leap out of the car while it's running. <laughs> Brilliant. Okay, we'll let that one carry on over there. We're going to buy this field here. Seven, no, no, 732. No, we don't. It's, it's the north one. It's not, the, it's not field 13 at all. It's field 14. Field 14 is the one. It's the one that we want. It's 735. See, I told you I'm, I'm useless with this. I really am. 735. It is $59 million. Thank you very much, Mary Evans. You may now retire. That's all you need to worry about. So we've got this field here. Now, can we get in this field with a big bud with triples? We've got to have triples. There's, there's no denying that we need to have triples. I mean, if we can't get through the gate, we'll just do it the old-fashioned way and teleport in through. So we're going to leave the car over there for a minute, and we are going to get a Big Bud tractor. So let me whiz through and get that one. I don't know what it's going to be like to start with. It should be all right. Triple wheels. Of course we're going to have triple wheels. There's no way we're going to buy a Big Bud without triple wheels, is there? And now we want a plow. And so we go into here. Right, well, the smallest in-game one is that one. I don't want to use that one. I don't like that one. We've got some little trailed ones. We've got a small jimper plow there. It's 3.6 meters. That's a, that's a big plow. That one's 2.5. That's getting better. 1.9. 1 meter for the Lemkin D27. We've got these little tiny Massey over here. Now, the problem with the Big Bud is that we're going to have to get the trail thingy majiggy. Uh, to go with it. So we're looking at, that one's 1.9, that one's 2 metres, this one here is just 1 metre wide. I've obviously left out some ploughs, um, there is some plough mods that I've left out somewhere. So we want that one there, we need the trailed lifter or else we can't use the big bud, so we have to buy that one. And then we need a plough, so I'm going to try it with a 1 metre plough, but I'm not sure if it's going to work with a 1 metre plough, that might be too narrow, in which case we'll move up and we'll probably go with... Um, Actually, I'll probably go with the Coon very mass. I know it's 2.5. It's quite a big plow. Oh, no, we could just go with the, the standard Coon. That's 2 meters wide. That would be better than the um, 2.5. I mean, that Cavern in there is 1.9. It's a little bit smaller. That one is 2, and that one is 1.9. So, yes, I think that overall, we're going to try this Lemkin first. This is the one that we're going to try first. There we go. And uh, let's go over to the Big Bud. There we go. Right, so we've got Big Bud and we've got a tiny little Lemkin plow. Let's see how well this works. Can we plow field 14 with a Big Bud and a tiny, tiny, tiny little Lemkin plow? I don't know, but I'm very, very curious to find out. So let's just back up to there and grab that one. And then we got to try and get this plow hitched on. Can I do this? I don't even know if I can make this thing work properly. Um, I don't know what this plow is going to perform like back up there we go that one's hitched on brilliant <laughs> this is gonna be awesome this is this is gonna be absolutely fantastic right first of all can we even get the big bud out of here this is gonna be the first question will it fit can we get it out of the um the dealership yes we can get it out of the dealership we can take it out onto the road we can drive around but quite frankly this is going to take a while. It's, it, we're not going to be able to get down now. It has... Oh! Savage! Ben, that is savage! You've put collisions on all of the posts. We're supposed to be able to knock those down. Um, now, that could present some problems. 
fortunately where there's a will there's a way and I have a will so I have a way I press I make the map bigger I press F11 and I dump it down there like that <laughs> who says Doctor Who ain't real I have just teleported with my TARDIS teleporter all the way across the map instant jump I love this mod I genuinely genuinely love this mod now let's see will this one fit through this gate so mr. Um, actually yes your name does show up in in the group doesn't it so um no we, we can't fit through right you were asking Ben I won't actually say your surname until I've had express permission and um, you were asking Ben that um, you know what would we as the players on your fantastic map like to see for like a, a gateway width in future I would say something that will allow a triple wheeled tractor to fit through I would say that that's kind of a um, a given that we would want to be able to fit a triple wheeled tractor through the gateway so as we can at the moment that is my personal request I want it wide enough to fit triple wheels in through now we could do doubles but I've seen plenty of videos of tractors working in Australia that got triples or even quadruples working down through the field so I would say that's what we want now I'm gonna go control H Control H doesn't actually work on this one, so I'm guessing that it's um, it doesn't have the option for. Uh, let me go G like that. It doesn't have the option for uh, the AI vehicle extension. I do have that on here, but it doesn't have the option. Right, it's it's not doing anything at the moment. Is it, am I too far away? Does it just not like it with this tractor? Let's lower you down. Oh, unless is it already been ploughed? Maybe I wouldn't have thought so. Right, that's not liking that. Um, now, is it the big bud or is it the field or what? I know that some people have had some problems with getting um, some of the things to work, but maybe it's like the edges of the field or something like that. So we'll move over a little bit further away from the edge of the field. But I think that this is the big bud. I think that the big bud itself doesn't actually like this. If I bring up that one, we've got... I can hire a worker and I can hide the HUD. So I'm just going to press H again. It's not doing anything. So what we're going to do is we will do a little test a minute. We will just unhitch that Lemkin plow uh, right there like that. If I move you forward a little bit, we may have to get a bigger plow on this tractor. It might also be that this tractor doesn't like it. So if we leave that tractor where he is for a minute and we go and get ourselves one of our Valtras, I think this one would be just the, just the man for the job. And I go like that. Um, keypad, left shift, no I don't want any of that, oh remember you can go everywhere with F11, click on PDA map, yeah that's, we know that, right so I'm going to take you and I'm going to jump you down over here, like that, and we're going to see if this one does it, it might be that it's the Lemkin plow that doesn't like it, in which case we'll have to jump back up to the shop and get ourselves another plow and we'll start with that one instead. Um, but I would very much like to be able to do this. I want to do this whole task with the big bud and this tiny little plow. Um, but it, yeah, it might just be that this tiny little plow doesn't like it. It's, there's, it could be something about this. So let's see. I know most people have said that the hired help is working. I know that there's like one or two tiny issues with the hired help, but I can't see that it's going to be anything to do with this. Now, if I go like this, and we, we, we'll just bring the map up a minute and we'll just double check that this field... Because we've got this texture on it, it might actually be classed as ploughed already. So that's going to be the first thing we want to check. Um, it says needs ploughing. I don't want that. I want that one there. If I go to here, it'll tell us. This is where we find... It's... Yeah. Okay. Um, my... My... my um, yeah. My bad. Uh, it's it's already... It's, it's already been ploughed. So that's... that's um, Yeah, that's just Frith being a complete and total moron. Um... We're, we're, we're sitting in a ploughed field wondering why the hired help is not wanting to plough it. And the hired help is going, look, dude, we, we, we've already done it. You know, we just spent 17 days ploughing this field for you. What more do you want? You know, re, just, you know, leave, leave us. Don't, don't, don't pressure us. Don't pressure. Why can't I get out? Why can't I get out? Let me out. Freedom. I want freedom. Um. Okay. Uh, th there is a... A, a collision issue here on this field. I don't know why that is. Is that is that something to do with the... Oh, I can't walk through there. Maybe I can jump. Jump! Okay, I can jump through there, but there is a collision issue in the corner of this field. And I don't really know why. Um, maybe if I open and close the gate? 
We'll try that. We'll, ju we'll just try opening and closing this gate and see what that does. It might be that there needs to be a slight update. Um, I've taken this... Remember, I've taken this version from Mod Hoster, so there could be... No, there's definitely a collision on there. Let me go and try one of the other fields a minute. Let's just try this field here and see if that one lets me in and out all right. Um, I mean, not that it really matters because we're going to be teleporting into the middle of the fields. Right, that one's fine. So there's, there is a slight collision issue with this field here. So what we'll do is we'll close the gate and we'll use our magic teleport mod. Right. Next thing, we're going to sell that plow because we don't actually want it at the moment. And I'm not going to flood the place with loads of things that we don't want. So if we can sell that one a minute, yes. And then what we're going to do is this field could do with cultivating. I mean, I think we can cultivate it. I'm hoping that we can. If I bring that one up. So we've got, it's not actually saying, it's just saying plowed. But so really, if you've plowed it, you want to cultivate it next, don't you? So we'll do that. Um, it's got texture over the top that looks like it's had manure spread on it as well. So when we cultivate it, it might ultimately end up being fertilized as well. So let's go into here and we'll go to cultivators. And we're going to get a small cultivator. Right, so that one is three meters. I've got some other ones back here. We've got the coon. That's four. That's too big. That's way too big. So we've got that one at 2.5. That is the one that we used in Texas. Uh, three, three. That one was 2.5, wasn't it? That's three, three. They're all three. Oh, 2.2. Oh, we've got a smaller one. Um, definitely. And what are these? Uh, these are four, five meters. Th th those are all big ones there. That's the three meter again. Three meters seems to be kind of the standard. You don't really get anything smaller than three meters. So we do have one at 2.2 meters, but most of these are at three. So I'm kind of thinking I'm going to go for three because I like the idea of using that one right there. Actually, no, I'll tell you what. I like the idea of using just the standard in-game one. I mean, that one there is way too big. It's four meters. That's, that's just being obscene. Um, but these two are both at three meters, and I kind of like, actually, I want to go for this one, the Cavernland, because that's like, it's, it's a small kind of disc type thing, and yeah, we're going to go for that one. It's the cheapest one there. We're going to buy that one. We're going to go for standard in-game stuff rather than going for a mod, because I'm not actually planning to change this one. So let's take you, and I need to teleport you back up to the dealership. Ooh, this could be a problem. Um... Where is the actual dealership? Because I can't see it. I can't see it on the map. Um, tell you what, let's go here and I might be able to... It can give me a little bit of a hint. This is a problem with the teleport mod because i got to teleport into town. I've got to try and find where the actual dealership is. And we've got that one. We've got Shell Service Station. I don't think it's... Well, it's not over there, is it? Milk Cell. Hmm. Okay, this is a genuine problem. Where is the dealership? Oh, ta town sawmill? No. I'll tell you what, I got a, I got a better idea. Let me just make that smaller. I'm just going to buy another tractor a second. And what should we buy? I mean, we, we do want a small tractor. I'll tell you what, we're going to try this one. I haven't used this one yet. Standard or cab. Let's go for just standard and buy that one. There we go. Come out of there. Right, I can use that one then to teleport this down. But it will also give me a point that I can um, fix on to get the, get the right location. Right, it's there. It's just below the harvester, below, there's three cell points, it's just below there, it's on the corner. We do have quite a big area that we can do this with, so hopefully, if I can switch over to the correct Valtra, that's the one. Let's see if we can do this, it's, it's right just below where that harvester is, so I can use that as a, um, a fixed point, and I want to I want to bring it down to just below there. Ooh, I did it, I actually managed to do it, brilliant, okay. I'm pleased with that. So we, we got we got our point of reference here. We just got to remember where the point of reference is for the future. And we should be fine with that. I want to get this going. It's just about all that I got time for today. Um, I know that I haven't asked you a weekly question. I'm not going to ask you a weekly question this week. I want some more suggestions this week about various different ideas that you might have for things that we could do on here. Um, is there anything that I've overlooked right from the start that we really should be doing? Is there anything that I've um, already got hopelessly, hopelessly wrong? Um, I'm sure there's all kinds of things that um, mistakes that I've already made. And I want to get this big bud working. So I know that this is three meters, which is a, quite a bit bigger than we actually hoped for on here. But I figure, you know, if we do it on this and then we get a seed drill going as well and, you know, we can plant this field... Then after we've planted this field, we can then um, 
I think we could harvest this field as well. We could get a tiny little combine. I could put a change of capacity. I mean, we could, we did have a combine that had eight milli, uh, eight and a half million capacity on it. I reckon if we sort of, you know, make it a big boy um, capacity rather than just a, a little eight and a half million one. Um, if I if I take it to like fifty million liter capacity on a combine, the combine could just carry right on here. We get the smallest combine that we can find and let that one carry right on and alter everything. Okay, let's see. Uh, first of all, if I go Control H, Control H isn't having it, but it is cultivating. It's definitely cultivating, so we can we can do that. Now I do have. Um, I'm pretty sure I've got chop straw and I've got um, the chop straw add-on. So I don't know if those are um, going to make any difference to the map. I haven't read very much of the manual yet, I will be honest. Uh, so there's probably a few things that are going to show up in a manual that I'm unaware of yet. So let's just bring this one back up here and we can start. And this this is our very first task. I'm just going to press H and let this one carry on. And it's away. Right, it's not cultivating in the texture i don't know if that's intended it might just be that this is the texture of the soil here to sort of represent that you don't do deep plowing here in australia something like that i'm not quite sure this is at 47 frames a second so maybe it's the chop straw add-on that i've got is interfering with it i'm not quite sure i will find all of that out later i'm going to sort of investigate a little bit more it's definitely something going on here isn't there Oh, I remember now there was a post on the Facebook page. It said, if you are facing in towards the bins in the center of the map, you will get frame rate drops. So if I just face away from those, no frame rate drops, everything is fine. But I'm not sure why this texture is not doing anything. Don't you dare tell me you finished. You're not even close to finished. This was something else that people have said about is that there is some, sometimes some slight problems with it not um, completely completing as it goes around the edge. So let's, uh, let's lower that one down. I'll just... Oh, you don't own this field? Oh, okay. So we've, we've got some crossover on that. That's why it's done it. It's because we don't own the field. So what we're going to need to do for that is... I'm going to go over to the car. And just back over here. We'll buy the other field next to us so that we can avoid that issue. But there's a slight boundary issue on that field right there. So if we back over here, we can buy this other field. And then we'll own both of them. And it's not going to cause us any problems. So we nip over to here and grab you. So that might be, as you know, if that field is extended out over the side, that's, that's not going to make any difference to it. We're down to $382 million. We've only bought two fields and we're already bleeding money. Um, let's try that again. Now it's working. Excellent. And it's away. So, yes, I, I'd like to, I'm going to try to find out if the texture is always like this with the soil because I mean I, mean, I think it is it just kind of represents the dry soil that doesn't get deep plowed and you know, that would be quite realistic for Australia that would that would absolutely make sense um, and other than that I think we're doing pretty well we know that we've got this whole issue where if you look towards the middle of the map you do have that slight frame rate drop so we're, we're down to about 40 I currently have all of my settings on high settings um, for the whole of the Texas series I had actually turned it down to medium settings in order to, because I was getting some like, it was a bit laggy and jumpy in places. If you're getting any issues like that, please let me know in the comment section and I will alter the settings on here accordingly and hopefully that we can sort it. If you enjoyed this episode, then please head down below and give me a like. And if you really enjoyed it, then please tell your friends all about me. Get them to come and watch as well. That would be awesome. But until next time, thank you very much for watching. This is Frithgar. Goodbye and see you later.